Good evening. Uh, this is a meeting of the Streets and Sidewalks Committee. Today's date is September 30th. It is about 8.15 p.m. To my right is Councilwoman Susan Westfall, and to my left is Councilman Jeffrey Schilling, and I am Bobby Phillips, the chair. We're here to listen to a recommendation from staff regarding amending a professional services agreement with Prime Construction Management survey for construction administration administration for the West Main Street Corridor Improvement Project, which is going over time. Mr. Titterington or Christy Butera? Mrs. Butera. Mrs. Butera, come on down. Mm -hmm. So if you will recall, in 2022, we passed a con you passed uh, authorization to enter into a contract with Prime Engineering for $850,000. Prime Engineering is the company that essentially doing the inspection and managing all of the ODOT paperwork for um, our three different phases of the Main Street project. We are requesting for you to authorize us to add an additional $250,000 to that contract. Um, essentially, back when the contract was signed, we made certain assumptions about how the, con how the weather would be and how the contractor, the days they would work, and essentially it's just taking longer to finished the work than we'd anticipated. They anticipated things like actually having a winter and they anticipated that the contractor would be shut down, you know, between January and February of both of those both of those winters because of weather. And that's not been the case. And so because the contractors have fortunately for our benefit, right, been working through the winters, uh, allowing the pro project to compress to progress quicker. Um, it's helped the construction but it's costed us more money because we've had to have people on site doing inspection and again, managing the, all of the ODOT paperwork for the project. So essentially this is just um, covering their staffing for the continuation of the project. Is, um, is the duct banked work, is that other utilities, is that part of the holdup? Not part of the holdup, but it is one of the three contract, like when we talk about the phase one, right, that Double J did for us, um, the duct bank work that T.C. Holzen was doing um, right around the same time, and then the phase two work um, that we currently have Milcon out doing. Yeah. Uh, when they started, they assumed we, uh, that they would start work in March of 2022 and that we would be done by November of 2024. And like I said, they assumed that we would have two winters where they were, had months where they essentially weren't having to have staff out on site. And, you know, what actually happened was we started in June of 2022, and we're not expecting to be complete with final asphalt until June of 2025. Okay. Mr. Chair, just to, yes. just to clarify, um, uh, you mentioned delays. We had wanted to be uh, far enough by in November that we'd at least have a base course of asphalt on there. Uh, a couple of the big things that have happened, particularly on Phase 2, Phase 1 stayed very well on schedule. Phase two, um, they've done really well. Um, no criticisms of the of the contractor at all. Um, but uh, at one point we hit bedrock, and so they had to go deeper and harder and longer and and you know just well longer. Um, there was some delay because, if I recall correctly, uh, some. Uh, uh, natural gas lines were uh, either not marked correctly or were not found or, you know, they were just discovered as, and luckily they were discovered before, you know, they got hit. Uh, and so uh, uh, Centerpoint had to come in and, and do some work, which gave, delayed us by uh, two to three weeks. So just little things like that. The asphalt on the edges as we've dug the trenches uh, has been uh, the base underneath it has been weaker, uh, and so we've had to do some additional had to do, have some additional work done there. Um, the prime, I think, what what Christie's getting uh, getting to is that uh, while the prime, it's it's actually a good good and bad thing. Uh, we have to pay prime to uh, up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars more, but it's because they've been able to be on site longer and keep particularly phase one and the uh, uh, the ductwork project so far uh, on schedule and ahead of schedule because we were blessed with with good weather um, 
$250,000 is $250,000, but at the same time, we've been able to save uh, funds from the actual construction components of the project. Uh, so we're able to really trade. It's not as clean as a trade because some of the work was in 2023 and you know, with the way the dollars are allocated, <clears throat> but um, it's, been, it's been a good thing overall. Uh, it's just meant that we have to adjust the prime management schedule, and prime has done an excellent job for us. I do want to say, though, that the prime contract is not a fixed amount contract. It's a unit contract. It's an hourly contract, which is why the price is driven up. So they don't get paid unless they actually do the work. Um, I just want to make that note, noted uh, that we didn't sign a, a fixed contract here. Because you aren't allowed to? Uh, it's just not the kind of work that you do that with. Okay. It's a professional services job, and those okay. are contingent on the other hours work. that are put in. Okay. Mr. Schilling, I had a question on the project, the, the phase two, up by uh, uh, North uh, uh, Dorset Road. There's a, a business there just to the east of Dorset. Uh, across from the sub shop and that type of thing, that little shopping center area. And there's no curbs and no sidewalk being installed there. I mean, we like they skipped that area. They did everything else all the way up to the, where they're supposed to by the interstate. They worked their way all the way back down. But in front of this little business, there's no curb sidewalks. That, that's a gray building. It, one time it was a, you know, like a uh, awning and uh, or a, roofing and that type of thing, business. But there's no, I say again, we we skip that. For some of that, the builder just skipped that. There's no, I mean, there, there, like I say, there's, there's it, it, the way it works right now, you just go from the street right up the guy's, into the guy's parking area. And there, so there's no definitive curb there. And then like I say, again, the sidewalk hasn't been replaced or anything. What, what's, do you have any idea what that was, what all that's about as far as? You're I, saying it's on the, it's on the north side. The of north the side, south of Dorset. They haven't, they haven't gotten to that. They're going to be swapping as soon as they get the south edge done. They will move back over to the north, and then that will get done. Okay, but it seemed like they would yes. have just gone right up, yeah. all the way up on the north side well, and come they, back on the south. And it may be, I'd have to look at the plans, but they may have skipped that because there was other work that needed to be done. So you, there's your you know, they work. they can pour that in sections. So okay. they will be coming back to do that. So We're not just going to leave a gap yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just curious about why that you know, wasn't. We were moving up north on West Main Street. We're, you know, we're moving up to West Main Street. It wasn't. Okay. That's fine. Gotcha. Uh, any other questions? No. Any other council folks in the audience have any questions on this item? Anybody else in the audience? Mr. Hendrickson, please come on. This, this additional funding is to cover work that they have already done and we're just paying them now? No, this is for, for uh, we're work? getting close to the end of the authorization and we keep track of the hours that they're working. They are keeping track of that as well. Right. So they haven't so gone they're getting the... close enough, but, so we don't owe them any money. We know we will if we don't will. up okay. the authorization. That's, that's my only question. That's all I want to know. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Anyone else in the audience have any questions on this item or concerns? All right. Seeing none, what is your uh, okay, pleasure with this one? On. Move forward. It's unanimous with the committee to move forward. There's no emergency attached to this, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, any other items come before the Streets and Sidewalks Committee? Yes, yeah. sir. Thankfully, we are adjourned.